Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Here's a quick recap of three of the most interesting bills related specifically to the 2020 election. Number one, President Trump has claimed he might refuse to leave office if he loses. So a bipartisan resolution uh, affirms a commitment by Congress to a peaceful transfer of presidential power. West Virginia Democratic Senator Joe Manchin introduced it in the Senate, which passed it by unanimous consent. California Democratic Representative Eric Swalwell introduced it in the House, which passed it overwhelmingly 397 to 5, with five Republicans dissenting. Number two, when you vote, people volunteer as poll workers. Problem is, more than half these volunteers are over age 60, also the age group most at risk from COVID-19. With many refusing to sign up as volunteers this time around, what to do? The Poll Worker Recruitment Act would allow every poll worker to serve anywhere in their state for Election Day 2020, overriding some states which limit poll workers to their specific town, county, or jurisdiction. It was introduced by Oregon Democratic Senator Jeff Merkley. With the Senate adjourned until shortly after Election Day, though, that bill's window for potential passage has seemingly come and gone. Number three, 2000's presidential election took more than a month to resolve due to recounts. Many fear the same thing could happen this time around. To account for that possibility, a bill would postpone this year's safe harbor deadline for states to resolve any potential presidential election disputes from December 8th to January 1st, and postpone the meeting of electoral college members to officially declare the votes for president from December 14th to January 2nd. Election day and inauguration day would both remain unchanged. It was introduced by Florida Republican Senator Marco Rubio. Uh, I'd elaborate, uh, but then this video would last past election day.